Well, the Saints are a week away from their first preseason game against the Ravens. Tomorrow, they'll get a tune-up during intra-squad play. But for Brandon Cooks, it's a chance to show the hard work he's put in this offseason, bulking up to shed defenders in year two. Lions Yellen has more from Saints Camp in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. It was an overcast day here in West Virginia, but nobody was complaining. The temperatures were much cooler than they had been in recent days. Now, tomorrow is the annual black and gold scrimmage. It really is a halfway point between the beginning of training camp and the first preseason game, and it gives the players a chance to put into action some of the things they've worked on this offseason. For Brandon Cooks, it's about not going down so easily and fighting for every yard he can get. It's definitely a, a chance tomorrow to be able to display that, to be able to, uh, you know, break a few tackles or, uh, like you said, not go down on that first one. That, that's a huge focus of mine, uh, using that strength that I built this offseason to be able to uh, get the extra yard or so. Last year, Cooks had his coming out party during the black and gold scrimmage. Tomorrow, we'll try to see if he can improve on that performance. Now, coming up later in sports, Doug Mouton has much more on New Orleans native Delvin Bro's terrific start here at the Greenbrier. Reporting with the Saints in West Virginia, Lions Yellen, Eyewitness News. Well, with so many offseason moves, you may want to trade in your Jimmy Graham and Curtis Lofton jerseys for perhaps a new number worn by a local guy with an unbelievable journey to the NFL. Doug Mouton has more on a McDonough 35 alum who looks to be headed for the final 53-man roster. Of all the guys on this practice field today, nobody appreciates this opportunity to be in the NFL more than number 40, Delvin Bro. It's a dream come true, like I said, man, um, very inspiring. I'm glad to be out here each day working, uh, grinding, continue to keep putting in work and uh, hopefully, you know, m make the 53 man roster. That's the biggest thing for me right now and uh, just understanding what the coaches want me to do. At this point, bro seems like a lock to make the 53 man roster, but he refuses to get overconfident. I'm still working at it. You know, I, I can't say I'm there yet, but um, just getting up, taking reps every day um, is it, getting my confidence built up and uh, kind of see I'm going to be ready for this league. Bro refuses to believe he's arrived because his road to get here was so long. It's been nine years since he broke his neck at Tad Gormley Stadium. Nine years working towards this chance. Number 39 Brandon Browner first told the story of meeting Bro on St. Charles Avenue a few years ago. One Mardi I think it was like 2000. 12 or 11, I believe, and uh, I saw Brandon Brown walking down the street, and I got so excited. I was like, man, that's Brandon Brown. I said, I finally get to see you know, meet him, and uh, I went down there, started talking to him, and, uh, you know, we was going through the arena football stuff. We was just talking, and I was like, man, I'm going to be up there in the NFL with you. Watch. Just, just wait. And he was like, all right, bro, I can't wait to see you. And now that we're on the same team, it's just unbelievable. And we caught up with Delvin Bro a few months ago at his home in Baton Rouge. The Delvin Bro we are seeing now here in West Virginia is on point. He is focused, and he seems like a guy who now knows he belongs. Delvin Bro is big, and he can run. He can play inside or outside, and he's willing to do whatever it takes to be a saint. And no one out here is having more fun. That's how I look at it, but it's, it's, it's a little bit... I wouldn't say frustrating because I want to get it all. You know, I want to do everything perfect, but everything is not going to be perfect. And uh, I just wake up every day with a smile on my face and I'm ready to work. Reporting with the Saints in West Virginia, Doug Mouton, Eyewitness Sports. Great story. Thank you, Doug. Saints making some roster moves. They waived Glenn Foster today with a failed physical designation. The defensive end, a 2013 undrafted rookie, was placed on the IR last October with a knee injury and was unable to practice all offseason. In this spot, the team signed defensive back Travis Manning, an undrafted free agent. The Saints, needs, the Saints need bodies in the secondary with so many injuries. Well, Les Miles and the Tigers hit the practice fields today, opening LSU's three-week camp. Of course, with Anthony Jennings reinstated, the quarterback battles back on. Brandon Harris took reps with the starters today, but Les Miles warned not to read too much into it, saying starting first is not as important as finishing first. Nonetheless, Harris's teammates describe him as more mature with that up and down freshman campaign under his belt. Opposed to last year when he wanted to, you know, make all the plays on his own. You know, and now he feels like, you know, we can we can make plays for him and he he has a good feel for that. You know, he's not trying to make a home run on every play, you know, he's not throw, trying to throw a bomb every time we call a pass, but, you know, he's making good reads, you know, he's letting us work once we get the ball, you know, he might hit us for five yards instead of trying to hit a, 
you know, a nine round every time. Got to take what the defense gives you. And three more weeks of this, we're going to be talking about who's who's the front runner in this quarterback battle. It's so all get ready. Yes. All right, and that Delvin Bro, I think everyone's rooting for him. What a great story. He's awesome. It's an amazing journey. All right, Leslie, thank you. And mm -hmm. we're back right after this.